made their way to Canada. Only Wimbledon and the U.S. Open have longer histories than the WTA Tour event in Montreal, the Rogers Cup. But this year, the stakes are even higher. The Rogers Cup is part of the U.S. Open series, and bonus points are on the line. Some of the biggest names in the sport have gathered north of the border. Five of the top ten players in the world are here. It's the Rogers Cup, straight ahead on the Tennis Channel. Channel proudly presents the WTA Tour, the Rogers Cup in Montreal, a third round collision between a pair of players who have captured Grand Slam titles, Jennifer Capriati and Mary Pugh. This is Brian Weber. It's been a week filled with entertaining tennis in Montreal. One spot in the quarterfinals is set. Top seed Amelie Moresmo advancing, surviving a three-set battle. Elena Bovina. Now Capriati and Pierce meet for a berth. In the quarters on Tuesday, Capriati played her first tennis since Wimbledon. Returning from injury, Elena Yitkover gave her all she could handle. Jennifer Capriati made her return to competitive tennis against Elena Yitkova. Capriati coming back from the hamstring injury. Still, she had good court mobility coming to the net. A fifth game break gave Capriati a 3-2 lead. And while Yudkova would have moments of frustration, she tested the former world's number one, pushing Capriati to a tiebreaker, which Jennifer won 7-3. Then the rains came, a two-hour delay with Capriati up three love. Capriati had a chance to close out the match at 5-3, but Yudkova rallied down 5-6 still. Capriati was steely when it counted. She was able to close out the match move on to the third round, but credit Yukova for testing. One of the premier players in the world, Capriati wins it, six and five. Capriati, the five seed, staves off the upset bid. Pierce, the last seeded player, gaining that status when Serena Williams pulled out, cruised in her opening match against Marlene Weingartner of Germany, who's making headlines for other reasons, would talk of an Olympic boycott by WTA players to protest the German Tennis Federation's decision to leave her off the Athens roster. Pierce won that match one and one, the same results in round two. Here's a second round matchup between Mary Pierce, number 28 in the world, and Nicole Pratt, number 37 of Australia. And Pierce, the French national, was in total control, had little difficulty taking care of the Aussie. Pierce revealing the full range of her court abilities, even finesse, deftly done, dropping that one in to pick up the points. Everything was rolling for Mary Pierce. Things did not change at match points. As the former French Open champion came to the nets and closed it out. Beating Pratt one and one in just under an hour. Only three seeds have lost so far, although Miskina was severely tested in her opening match with Paris Antonia. Meeting up with Ruben now. Leva and Suarez, bottom portion of that bracket. Mild upsets with Lahosova and Petrova, although Lahosova beat her countrywoman a week ago in Carlsbad. Tonight at 10, we'll have Sharapova and Tavana Reva for you on the Tennis Channel. The biggest upset involving the matchup bottom of your screen. Dolko knocking out Dementieva, the four seed, and Moresmo advancing. Waits the winner of Sugiyama and Sprem in the quarterfinal. Jennifer Capriati, 28 years of age, number seven on the computer, 21 and nine in nine events, has been slowed by the hamstring trouble. Also earlier this year, had a back injury, but when she's been on, she's been very dialed in, and as Lindsay Davenport has shown the tennis world with her performance as of late. With all the big names being saddled by injuries, if Capriati can get her game clicking, 
She poses a major threat at the U.S. Open. Recall that battle she had with Justine and Arden a year ago in that semifinals for the ages. A homecoming for the Montreal native, Mary Pierce, 26th in the world, 29 years of age now. An American father, daughter of a French mother, the family on vacation in Quebec when Mary came into the world, then was raised in Florida, so has three passports, but claims France as her primary nationality, will play on their Olympic squad and also playing in doubles competition in this event with Amelie Moresmo. Pierce playing outstanding tennis so far. A reminder, another match comes your way tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern. Sharapova had them rocking yesterday at center court against Monareva, who was involved in a match for the record books a week ago against Miskina, that marathon third set. Three of the four quarterfinals on the Tennis Channel tomorrow and then live semifinal coverage at 1 p.m. Eastern. These players familiar with one another, a rivalry dating back Tell over a decade. Capriati leads 3-1. All of their meetings coming in the round of 16. So the brackets leading to those head-to-head -head matchups. Met back-to-back -back years in the 92 and 93 French Opens. Pierce winning their last meeting and only encounter on the hard court like our surface in Montreal a year ago. The Porsche Championship, Filderstadt, four and two. Both these players know what it takes to win on the grandest stages of tennis. Capriati with that renaissance later in her career, picking up the 2001 Australian and winning Roland Garros later that year also. Win at the 2002 Australian Open and Pierce winning in both Melbourne and Paris. Should be compelling tennis to call it for you. Rod Black and the Hall of Famer, Tracy Austin. And opens up with a winner. 15. Another winner, another common denominator for the players. The peaks, of course, on the tennis court, they had their valleys away from the tennis court, too. Capriati's so well documented. Problems away from the court, then able to come back. Mary Pierce. Family problems away from the court, came back after injury problems. They, they both are made for TV movies. Yes. Another common denom denominator. Both have their brothers here as their coach. Oh. Jennifer has her younger brother, Stephen. And Mary's working with David. David was actually the one that was there when Mary won her French Open title. 1995. Or excuse me, 2000. 95 when she won her Australian Open title. A break point. Again. Jennifer Capriati holding serve. Capriati has, since her win here in Canada in 91, 
Been also to three other finals here. The last being in Montreal two years ago against Mary Pierce's doubles partner, Amelie Moresmo, who just moved on into the quarterfinals. Beating Elena Bovina in three sets. Two hour match and push this match back a few minutes. Later start than they might have had. in this match for Mary Pierce to serve well and serve big. It's a weapon that she relies on and she doesn't move as well as Capriati. She needs to get ahead in the point right away with either her serve or her return. has gone deep a couple of times in Canada. 94 semifinals lost to Steffi Graf. Also went to the semis in 99 losing to Martina Hingis. but couldn't put it into the corner. The last couple of years have been a write-off in this tournament for Mary Pierce, but again, she's been bothered with injury problems, stomach and back problems. Shoulder tendonitis started actually when she won the French in 2000. <laughs> Pierce has spent a lot of time down in Tempe, Arizona, working with Mark Verstegen. It's a fitness institute down there. Two Grand Slams that Mary won, the Australian and the French. She really was in the best shape of her life. The strongest, the fittest, the leanest. And actually, that's common denominator with, with all players. That's what made Capriotti come back and win those Grand Slams. 2001 and 2002, and a couple of Australians, and the French in 2001. Look at this short backswing, boom. Right on the rise. Very quick forehand swing. Capriotti always 15. had the strokes and she hits the ball just about as clean as anybody. I think her and Lindsay Davenport, two cleanest strikers of the ball. She never was quite fit enough and when she got to that higher level, her confidence rose as well. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This for our first match, you can even notice, and, and the Bovina and Moresmo were hitting the ball pretty hard. You can even notice the, just the difference, the sound of racket hitting ball. Very much so. Great pace here. Early break opportunity for Mary Pierce. Jennifer strings her racket pretty tight, 66, 68 pounds. It's 
going to make more sound effect. Mm -hmm. Pierce did well to get to the first two. No getting the last one. Mm -hmm. Makes the stab there and actually guesses right. It's just too far away. Capriati has not won this year, a runner up in Rome. Semifinalist three times. Pierce got back to the winner's circle, first time in four years earlier this year. Won her first grass court title. And her Tog and Bosch week before Wimbledon on a quick oh, surface that Mary Pierce mm -hmm. likes so much surface Taylor made for her big serve and forehand. And she actually says she likes the clay the best. Yeah. I said that to Robert earlier. It's interesting that three times these two have played on clay. Capriotti's one and one time they played on hard. Mary Pierce has won. I really would think that the faster surfaces would bode well for Mary, Mary Pierce. Another winner for Mary. Another break chance. Mm -hmm. Moves in quickly off that baseline. Looking for anything short. Quick break here in this opening set. Winner going on to the quarterfinals. Welcome back to the Rogers Cup and the U.S. Open Series as Rod and Tracy were discussing both Capriati and Pierce, a testament to perseverance. Capriati winning this event in 1991, and then, you'll recall, making it all the way up to number one in 2001, a decade later. Two distinctive portions to her potentially Hall of Fame career. She's engaged in a good one thus far with Mary Pierce. Pierce on top, 2-1 on center court. Pierce fresh off the first break of this first set, leading two games to one. think of any two players who play at more opposite pace. Pierce very deliberate, very slow. Maybe Sharapova as well. Capriati likes to play that quickly in between points. Mm -hmm. A lot like Steffi Groff did. Chance for Capriati here in 
play yourself into a break chance. Respond to that break by Pierce. Golden opportunity now. Triple break. Oh, nice point. Probably the kind of tennis they played about 10 years ago, too. Watch how Capriati hits the shot, but keeps her racket well out in front of her so that she can react quickly for that volley winner. Two all here in this first set. Break a piece. Two players who are getting up there on their birth certificate, older <laughs> players, you know, I'm sure they, they must be very interesting to look in a locker room now and they see all the teenagers. Nice. Only difference is that most of them speak Russian. Right. <laughs> Pierce anticipates well, kind of loops that one back in. Justine Enna said that recently. She said she felt like when she went in the locker room, she's not hearing English as much as she's hearing Russian now. Most of the Russians hang out pretty well together, eat together when they're here. Kind of nice to have th those friendships when you're so far away from home, away from family. Oh. Oh. Apriati has had some time off. She was going to play in San Diego and pulled out. She had a hamstring problem and has not played since Wimbledon. That's actually one thing when she started making her comeback, the biggest thing that she had trouble with was her serve. Her toss was all over the place, and she rectified that. That's when she got back on track as well. Rectified it right there, didn't she? Yeah, perfect toss. And sometimes it was painful to watch. That toss would be two, three feet to her right, way out in front, and she'd still try to hit it. Jennifer Capriati holds this first set back on serve. She leads 3-2. For Jennifer Capriati. Break here in this first set. Time. Round of 16 today at the Rogers Cup at Unipri Stadium in Montreal. Quarterfinals tomorrow. Amelie Moresmo already paving her way. Tough match with Elena Bovina. She'll meet Karolina Sprem from Croatia, 
who defeated Ai Sugiyama in their round of 16 match over on the grandstand court. New court one here. Like that one back. Just like to move in a little quicker. She just lets this one drop completely. Started moving to her right. Just needed to move diagonally toward the net. Oh. A little opening here for Capriotti. triple break and for the second service game for Pierce Capriati very good position here triple break Pierce has not won a point on her service game in the last two this one and the last one Capriati, who had a tough grind in her first match here. And Mary Pierce, who really could have put the sails up. No problem. Another break for Jennifer Capriati to lead four games to two. You know, the first two matches for Mary were really easy matches. Sometimes that can be a, a positive, obviously, but, you know, sometimes a bit of a negative. She really didn't have much resistance against Feingartner or Nicole Pratt. Not really up to this level at all with the pace or the power. into another gear and she goes to sprint for that wide ball that's where all that training comes in and that strength just accelerates almost hits that forehand behind her pulls it back in Too good right now. Great for service percentage, 72%. That's what she said she wanted to do in her little interview with Robert. from 5-2. Pierce not in a rhythm here yet. 
And it's all because of Jennifer Capriati. Off a break, five games to two. Mary Pierce is going to have to kick it into another gear here. Down 5-2 and a break. Has to hold, something she hasn't been able to do here in this first set against Jennifer Capriati. Oh. It's been a lot of this so far from the American. She and Mary Pierce played together and against each other when they were kids. Capriati had so much happen to her so fast. She was a comet. 15-year-old, one here. She was in the top 10 at the age of 14. Triple set point. Mary Pierce not on like she has been this week. Capriati rolls six games to two. Four to top the standings with 100 points. First set numbers revealed just how good Capriati was, specifically with the break chances and after having some sluggish moments in round two. Cruising thus far in the third. She serves to start the second set. Capriati, Mary Pierce, was elevated into seed status when Serena Williams pulled out before the tournament began. Here is our first set stat pack brought to you by Danun. You don't even have to look at it. Just look at the score. 6-2 Capriati and only 29 minutes. That's what Mary Pierce has basically worked Almost did two sets in 29 minutes the other day. Now Tracy Austin for Mary Pierce to try to get back in this. Capriati's just not letting her get in though. Capriati's serving extremely well. 73% of her first serves in. More winners than unforced oh, errors. She really stayed concentrated and focused. Completely different match than her one the other day where she was spraying the balls. You really have to hit a couple of winners in a row against Capriati because she is so quick around the baseline. Very quick match, 31 minutes, and Capriati wanted to keep it that way. That's what she's doing, opening game, second set. Mary Pierce is befuddled right now. Anything she's sending over the net is coming back quicker. And in. Capriati mentioned 13 years ago won this event. Wouldn't that be something if she could rise up and do it again? I don't think there are too many champions that could go 13 years and then ascend back to a title victory. Navratilova, probably. Yeah. <laughs> the only one, maybe. Oh. 
Thank you. Thank you. She needs to string some points together. Capriani, a lot of winners. Pierce's serve brings her back. Trying to get a bounce back in her step here. One all second set. Three breaks for Capriati in that first set. One for Mary Pierce. We'll have to be a different tone here for Pierce to advance to the quarters in the second. <laughs> Wasting no time, right to the line, ready to roll. <laughs> Third double fault. <laughs> Not a shot that Mary was missing the other day. She didn't miss anything the other day. No, not right in the middle of the court, that one. Just didn't get underneath the ball quite enough. Things though, Pierce not playing to the level she played in the first two matches. That a lot of that has to do with the opponent and Capriati picking it up from her first match. I think she was just nervous that first set. She hadn't played a tournament in a while. Capriati. Two games to one, Jennifer Capriati, the second set on serve at the Rogers Cup. Graham tomorrow, on serve in the second, here's Mary Pierce. Two, two, one to Capriati. Just get the feeling that if Mary does not win this game, it's going to slip away quickly. This way to wheel one back, her first ace of the match. extra time for those last two serves.
One of her better played service games so far, Mary Pierce. We talked about in the beginning, try to control that point from the start, the serve or the return. Just having one of those days right now. 11 unforced errors. Only nine winners. Oh. Great point from Capriotti. Good adjustment, about three shots back. Then tries to hit the passing shot right at Mary's body. Sets up the clean cross-court winner. And another break chance here for Capriati. First in this second set. Well, this could be... Very quick here, unless Mary Pierce can pick up her socks here. that Pierce had beaten Capriotti that one time last mm -hmm. fall and really I think was a lost year for Capriotti after that semifinal loss against Justine Enna this U.S. Open she's had two painful losses there all the way back in 91 against Celis looked like she was going to beat her serve for the match the third Her father has said, Stefano has said that that Celis match left scars on Jennifer, and I think that one Justine last year when she was up 5-2 and she was running around, jumping around, looking like she was going to win. Justine fought back so hard. Match went on past midnight. I don't know how Justine did it to just get up the next day and get everything together to beat Kleisters in the finals. A lot of credit to her. Such a fighter, such a great athlete. And now Ardan apparently will be playing in Athens at the Olympics, so that's great news to have her back on the court. Oh. Looks like the Williams sisters might be back in time, too. For the Olympics, a lot of Olympic talk here the last couple of days. Jennifer's younger brother, Stephen, going to go back for his second year of law school at Hofstra in Long Island, New York. Just not in the zone today. When she tries to go on the offense, she's not nearly having any type of a success she had against her first two opponents. Jennifer Capriati, quick here. 6-2-4-1. We expected here today. We've no, certainly been building no, this no. match up. <laughs> K 
count mm -hmm. in that. 15 mm -hmm. Yeah, just when you think, you know, the sports really is all about patterns and trends. I mean, this one is off the charts. It looked like it would be much closer than it is right now. Played it by the numbers and momentum and all of that. It has not lived up to the marquee yet. But you're dealing with humans and up days and down days. Mm -hmm. Kind of, Jennifer really has ha had a superb match. And Mary, not where she would have liked to have been. She could have played better. Still in there, though. On your first double fault. She rarely is double faults because she's got a good, safe second serve with all that top spin. Usually good depth on it as well. Crowd trying to urge Mary Pierce. Fan favorite here. Her Montreal roots. we know talked about those Montreal roots born here of course grew up in the United States eventually went to play for France it's a time when she almost could have played for Canada her father had come north of the border and talked to Tennis Canada officials I don't know how close it ever was, but. It's good to have that choice, though. We kind of wish she would have. Really classy athlete, though, Mary Pierce. long all those were falling mm -hmm. in you know you look at the winners Tracy Pierce with 12 she had 12 winners early in the first sets of her first two opening matches Enough on that return to threaten Capriotti. Five two. This one's over. Seventh seed, really the sixth seed, losing to Carolina Sprem. I know it's an upset in terms of numbers, but not really. Sprem is an outstanding player. Maggie Maleva moves on over Alas Suarez. Again, tough to say if those are really upsets. And Gisela Dolko's ride is over. Goes out to Gullivan. Gullivan is the one who got to the finals of Birmingham, lost to Sharapova. Up-and-coming star from France. Dolko's yesterday was an upset over Elena Dementieva. That was the biggest upset so far of the tournament. Brim, also a rising star. Very impressive. Mary Pierce must hold and then has a lot of work to get back in this match. It's been all Jennifer Capriati.
Bram, by the way, will meet Amelie Moresmo in tomorrow's quarterfinals. Maleva will meet the winner of Anastasia Miskina and Chanda Rubin. Golovan will meet the winner of Maria Sharapova and Vera Zvonareva on center court tonight. That will be a good one. We thought this was going to be a good one. We did. I was just thinking that. Yeah, better not say anything. But I really, I promise that one's going to be a good yeah. one. You never lie either. <laughs> She needs a break. Younger brother David likes it. Just that there hasn't been much coming from Mary Pierce here today. You just, unless there was a complete turnaround in confidence and momentum, you can just even sense it by the body language of the two players. Capriati serving to close out the match with new balls. been a winner on most people. Mm -hmm. Pierce has to hit that extra half volley. Maybe that will be the point that energizes her. Capriati changing rackets. On the changeover, Capriati He's bouncing them against each other, checking on the string tension. Well, here's a little opening for Mary Pierce. to a triple break point. These are the first looks at a break point in this set. to close this one out. And there is a little life left still in Mary Pierce. Really, only the last couple of games has she shown any spark. And so Capriati now talking to herself. Mary Pierce again needing to hold along this match. Thank you. 
Netted four hands in a row. Just hitting the tape. Nineteen unforced errors. Mary Pierce, nowhere near that number. In those opening matches. Really a must point now for Pierce. Didn't get it. Setting up a double break, double match situation. Capriati looks to the crowd. Some fight. This has all been decided by Pierce this game. So far, she either makes the winner or the air. Capriati has been the solid. <laughs> Nowhere near the match we expected. Jennifer Capriati. Is on to the quarterfinals. Her brother likes it. 6 2 6 4. Age old rivals, Capriati and Pierce, the 1991 champion, advances. Just got that feeling if Pierce got held that last game that we might have seen the match that we expected. But Capriati, the champion that she is, just able to hang on, elevate that game, take that second set 6 4. Jennifer Cowley. Well, our friend Rod Black had this one over after the seventh game. It took Jennifer Capriati a few more to finalize, but Capriati wins in straight sets. Took her 61 minutes. The particulars Capriati, three more breaks. Keeping an unforced error tally down. Winners just about even. Pierce able to get that first in, but far too often it seemed when she had a full court in front of her with which to work, she could not get it done. Capriati moves on to the quarters. She awaits the winner of Schiavone and Lehosova. Nice showing by a former champ at this venue. We'll see you again tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern. Should be a very intriguing matchup. Sharapova and Zavana Reva. Third meeting this year. They've split so far. Vera winning in Memphis. En route to her championship in Tennessee. And Sharapova getting the equalizer in Paris at the French Open in the round of 32. Capriati's through, joining Maleva, Golovan, Sprem, and Moresmo in the quarterfinals tomorrow. Remember, we'll have three of those for you beginning 11 a.m. Eastern here on the Tennis Channel. But stay with us, and we see you later tonight with Sharapova and Ivanareva. So, for Rod Black and the Hall of Famer Tracy Austin, this is Brian Weber. Hope you've enjoyed our continuing coverage of the Rogers Cup from Montreal. U.S. Open Series exclusively here on the Tennis Channel.